what is going on? I'm Zedmod, back in the shadow of heroes. We are doing the Tides of Heroes, Code Zedmod in that creator boost. We've got some exciting stuff today, but I've got even more exciting stuff tomorrow. And no, I don't mean these beautiful, giant, bouncing melons. There is something more exciting than that. So do stick around for tomorrow's video. I was going to do it earlier in the week, but I just had to leave it for Friday. So uh, this is the happenings i am currently in rank 18 managed to get there with the help of going five engine rooms and you might be saying but zed i don't have enough keys for the cannons well i didn't either this is not the base i used to get to 18 this is the base i used to get to 18. cron howard is just ever so slightly ahead of me he has been hunting down the best bases and i have been copying them uh, so this is the base now do note that behind that trophy on the left hand shore over on by b1 there is a mine hidden behind there otherwise everything is fairly straightforward so use that base and then jump on into the next rank get those cannons uh, and then i'm going to show you how i've been attacking cannons definitely helping a little tiny bit and i can say that because i have yet to do an attack when i've had cannons but on the plus side zero unlock tokens that means i had exactly the 28 keys required to get cannons that is super duper exciting and i have gone against one base that has both cannons and boom cannons and building damage yes i said both and then named three things so i'm uh, not always going according to script but i fizzled so hard so scorcher players out there if you're using scorchers uh know that the end is near my friends but maybe we can use rocket choppers or something uh, i don't really know i also might have to use brick with iron will uh, that's another option i don't know i've only faced one base with it and it absolutely spanked me so stay tuned for that Anyways, my times are generally between 244 and 229. That is generally enough for a win, except for when Brick dies and falls in the dung. Uh, we are getting like 232, 228, 244. 244 is the magic number. Now, on these bases, we're going to do a drawing. I got heck by a commenter for saying drawing and so what the strategy is on this side over here we're going to send some scorchers with brick behind them and what brick is going to do is she's going to clear all of those shock mines using her cluster grenade that is her complete and utter job so her job is to clear that right hand side then we're going to drop some warriors and we're going to clear these three defenses and why those defenses are important is that it's going to allow us to sneak some troops up that left wall now i don't care if they go like into here i don't care if they go like around the horn all that matters is that we clear these three defenses as fast as we can and that's why i've been using warriors for that uh, so we've got a three-pronged attack we're clearing all of this stuff down here we're clearing backwards to there and these guys are probably not gonna make it to that back so uh, now that we've done that in practice or in drawing mode Let's show it in reality. And I'm not sure why iOS unpauses when you're drawing. But anyways, uh, we are going to drop on this left-hand side for right-hand side, left-hand side first. Doesn't really matter the order. All that matters is that Brick is not going to die to that Flotsam exploding because she's got slightly enough health. Uh, you can't have a negative health boost there or maybe she'll she die. But um, otherwise, things progressing. We've got that three-pronged hit I was talking about. Those Scorchers are going to wrap around. These guys are going to the back. Brick is clearing shock mines and everything is working out perfectly we're gonna save a cluster grenade for that right there hoping to clear the shock mine in behind if you have the option to use bricks cluster grenade on a building with shock mines behind it or with just a building choose to use it to clear shock mines if at all possible that's how I'm doing it anyways. Against Big Bear Ballin, all of the bees, very, very strong player, if memory serves me. Same sort of hit, but we're not going to do the old wraparound. Instead, what we're going to do is clear that machine gun, clear that sniper tower, and essentially do the exact same hit. People have started to put mortars in this neighborhood to try to draw your troops over, so I dropped one Scorcher on that right-hand side to stop our troops from coming left. Without flares, you need to be a little bit careful. And there is Brick on that left-hand side clearing 
all of those shock mines. So not always brick on the left. Look at that top five trophy. That's the second top five player I've beat this season. I don't know what's going on. First Kaiser and now Big Bear Ballin. So big shout out to them. I assume that Scorchers gave me an early lead and it's going to all come crashing down very soon. That's why I record videos as soon as I get to that new rank because I assume everyone's about to crush me. Same sort of hit right hand side with the Warriors to clear the things. I want to clear this stuff so that my troops go in the right direction, dropping brick a bit late and look how many boom mines they have placed. That's why I've got those extra scorchers, also why I use that cluster grenade and then brick is still alive on that right. We've got one scorcher making the journey around and that's all I can suggest without flares is trying to cut that tail so that your troops go where you want them to and I'm finding that warriors are working quite well for that at the second because they destroy buildings slightly quicker than scorchers do and then we just get like we, I managed to actually keep warriors alive that has not happened on four engine rooms in a long 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 time so I assume that's just five and people not having all the defenses yet so I uh, haven't seen sniper towers yet but there's going to be some filthy bases at five like just absolutely filthy so uh, against a four engine room again same deal just trying to get our troops where we want them to do doing three here and three there and then just absolutely waiting trying to sneak some back to that back back engine room which is much much harder because you got to get this stuff down watch they start to turn left and then it goes down timed it almost perfectly and as a result we end up getting all of our warriors going back there to die all the warriors are gone but that scorcher is doing some damage on that engine room i don't think this was a great idea as far as delaying troops because as you see we don't actually get that engine room down so anytime the bulk of your troops get to that final engine room it means you probably would have been better off dropping all your troops at the beginning uh, Lenny, Lenny B31. I don't know what that means, if that's some sort of Simpsons reference or what, but again, warriors out front. That is important because I don't want my troops to go the wrong way. Without flares, I am probably a bit too cautious, uh, but just getting all of our troops going. And you see those cluster grenades clearing all of the mines. I don't know how to attack half the bases at the time. So the fact that I've got building health and shock mines uh, definitely doing me some favors here Lenny did not have a great time got a little bit lucky on my end sometimes you got to be good and sometimes you got to be lucky and you got to be lucky to be good and brick coming in with the cluster grenades right there and she got one of three shock mines which definitely slowed me down a little bit but you can see why cluster grenade is coming in clutch finally uh, this person was using uh, this one is how not to attack this base. So Squiggles here came in. They're trying to do split hits. They're doing all sorts of magic. Maybe they're trying to learn a new hit. I don't know how it goes, uh, but they just got so unlucky. Every single mine, every single shock mine just absolutely eating up their troops and then this flotsam just melting their face so they've got a decent split but i think they just leave like this entire bottom engine room just sitting there uh, the mortar is doing great the flotsam doing great and they got to do the old-fashioned walk of shame they're still wearing their dippity do haircut uh it's 10 a.m and just not a good scene uh, just walking all the way around the horn, trying to get back to bed and just not going well. So don't do what Squiggles did. That is the best possible outcome on a boss battle, though. Uh, we just, the same deal. I already showed you, we're cutting off the end of that tail, sending those warriors way left so that some of them not only clear the shock mine but also get onto those mortars and then as soon as those mortars start to go down as soon as those warriors come out of the shock mines we get those scorchers going and then 
as that, like, look at that timing. That was absolutely perfect. Even, like, one more hit from those warriors and those scorchers would have turned right, which would have slowed us down a little teeny tiny bit. So, you gotta know how long shock mines last for. You gotta drop things at the right time, and you just gotta get a little bit lucky. So, uh, we definitely got lucky on that one. And this base right here, I failed to mention, uh, was made by none other than Dr. Phoenix. He is cruising. I think I already said that, but I also had my phone disconnect and had to restart my recording. So I just wanted to make sure giving the credit where credit is due. Looked at Abu Fahad's base and he has boom cannons and other stuff that I just don't have. So Seems like Dr. P ranking up faster with boom mines than boom cannons, which is a bit surprising, but uh, we'll do one hit. Uh, gotta do a live hit somewhere in here. And again, do come back tomorrow. I'm gonna put it in the Boom Beach inbox. Uh, it's gonna be exciting. I'm already excited. Uh, are you excited? We will see how it goes, but um, great, great, exciting topic that... I hopefully can present well. Whether or not that happens or not, we're going to have to wait and find out. But we're also going to have to wait and find out to see if we get an oppo opponent. Oh my gosh, thank you. My kid just delivered me a Snickers bar paid for with his own hard-earned money. Holy, apparently I was coming across as grumpy perhaps? Or maybe he's... By the way, shout out to him. He just made the... Uh, a very very competitive soccer team with the best coach in town so very excited for him uh same deal warriors there uh you over here we're gonna drop one two three over here let's drop you over there to try and speed up our troops uh movement and i think i did this completely and utterly wrong we'll find out here in a second but those warriors have cleared that this scorcher on this left hand side a little bit too late I think this Snickers is affecting me negatively, uh, but our Scorchers are coming around that corner. I didn't even notice that they have cannons, but cannons are not a big deal unless, of course, the person has building damage. Then cannons are a very, very big deal. Uh, these Scorchers, by the way, assuming we do get this engine room down, will come back and join these guys back here as we're clearing that back section we've cleared this front bit i have not the fact that i didn't realize that my opponent has cannons so, oh look at that that flamethrower saving us they that flamethrower brought us away from those boom mines away from those shock mines and it's gonna get us onto that engine room a little bit quicker but as you can see right about there our left hand side tail is slow to arrive bonus though is that when your Scorchers do explode, they do a tiny bit of damage, as you obviously, obviously know. And we are going to come in here and we are going to be slow. This is going to be my slowest time in my log, and you guys are here to see it. But on the plus side, come on, Brick, get that shot out right in the dome. Um, we have cannons, so maybe they're going to be a bit slower. Ultra Tony, another beast player. We have gotten lucky. Shout out to Ultra Tony. He is always, always up there on the Canadian leaderboard. Uh, got very lucky in this instance. We are going to pick up the win, I think. Uh, I hate... I, it's a love-hate relationship. I hate seeing people's names. I know I hate losing stars to people that I know, but I love it when they show up when I'm making a recording because I can give... Ultra Tony, a big shout out. So shout out to Ultra Tony. Great game. Uh, we are going to end the video right there. Thank you for coming in, liking, sharing, subscribing, clicking the bell, commenting, all of those YouTube -y things. Also code Zedmot in that shop. Come back tomorrow though. I am going to go eat a Snickers bar. It was not paid by Snickers to say that. Could you imagine if I got sponsored by Nestle? I could uh, actually work less than 60 hours a week that would be amazing anyways i am zedmod thank you for coming in i'll talk to you soon peace